Hi Capricorn, this is Charlotte from or Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot and thank you very much for all your likes and shares. There were 118 of them. Wow! And um, uh, so your second place at Gemini was 124. So you just got beaten by six. Never mind, second place is just as good as first place. You are number one for me. Every zodiac sign is in their own right. So this is your romance reading for July 2020. And um, if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, then you can find the information below um, this video and uh, also in the top right hand corner. Um, and if you're new, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe and like. So the one that has the most readings uh, will be number one and so forth in uh, afterwards. Okay, now I'm doing the querent card again or the overall energy week one, week two, week three, week four and again like in the general reading taking the corner cards I'm not doing the numerology or the card tomancy side of on the Lenemann and then we have the romance um, oracle deck and the surrender deck and the answer of the angels so first of all we uh, start off with the Empress and we all know that the Empress is Mother Earth or represents Mother Earth a lot like the Queen of Pentacles the Empress, Empress also represents Libra Capricorn so there might be a, a, a Libra that is uh, has a significant meaning for you or you could be meeting up with a Libra but the um, Empress also represents fertility birth of a child or birth of a new project this could be called of obviously a new romance and that there will be growth she nurtures everything that she um, uh, plants and it, she makes it grow and waits until it is ripe and then she will pluck the harvest so perhaps you have been waiting to open up your heart for example like when you meet the right person well this could be the Libra this could be any of the um, air signs and it could be the king of fire but don't exclude um, any of the other signs um, the king of rods is Aries so it could be that you might be meeting up with an Aries or you are already hooked up with an Aries or a Libra or any of the earth signs the fire uh, air signs sorry okay so that out of the way um, I'm doing the reading for hooked and not hooked up so if you are hooked up then perhaps um, Gemini had the Queen of Pentacles and it's funny that the Empress comes out in your reading Mother Earth you might find yourself fertile to get pregnant if you've been trying for a while then it might happen this month if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions please okay so or you might be hearing of a birth wow this is great news it's always lovely to hear beautiful news a new life coming in to the world so that is the overall energy this could also mean that the ground is uh, fertile for you to start a new affair or a new love relationship you have grown like <laughs> the seeds you have th thrown the seeds out there and the intentions and the manifestations that you want to meet somebody that's loving nurturing exciting passionate and caring or fun so I hope you have thrown out the right intentions so that it will come back to you it looks as if it is now uh, if that is for and if you are hooked up 
then of course your relationship is going on to a next level especially if you are pregnant now we have the five of swords perhaps you uh, might be in a situation in your relationship if you have a relationship that you are at war you are having disagreements so be careful this is the first week make sure that if you do want to uh, maintain a beautiful and a loving balanced relationship like the Empress then make sure that you watch your words and your actions nobody is a winner here but some of you might be in a di in getting divorced I'm sorry to hear that if you are going through divorce or a separation it's not nice but also be careful what you stay, say and do. do you, then I have a question and that's when you really need a personal reading or a one-to-one -one or an extensive reading whatever you want to call it and to see what the outcome could be and how to handle it how to if you want to take uh, bring it back together so you know there's always a possibility you're the one that's the Empress and you are the one that is the Queen of your life you decide on what you want and what you need there's always possibilities my mum used to say you can always adjust a sleeve so long you can knit so be the knitter so that you can adjust the length of the sleeve in a mat metaphorically speaking so be careful what you say or do nobody is the winner and that is in the first week you might have just petty arguments skip it walk away in the th second week you have the page of swords mm. So there will be news. This could also be official news. It might be um, that you are getting married. After all, you're li uh, lying next to the Empress or that somebody, an air sign, fancies you. There is a new beginning. Boom, you might be asked out. This could be a Leo, the, uh, sorry, Libra, Gemini or an Aquarian, Capricorn. Okay. And it could be a young person that is bringing you the news, but you most probably get it through cyber. That's telephone, text message, or a phone call. And because the swords stand for um, justice, clarity, honesty, it, and municipalities and institutions, you, it could be that you are being asked to get married. Officiality, marriage uh, certificate, that is official you need to go to municipalities or an institution like the registry office or the church an institution to make it official okay again there seems to be uh, disagreements and you feel that you have to defend yourself as you have the seven of rods you are standing your ground this means that you might feel that you have to defend yourself or that you that you are defending yourself in the third week of July July um, the energy of cancer is passion love and nurturing and caring perhaps you care too much about something or about your partner and you will not give up until what uh, until you get what you want the peace the tranquility um, somebody might be um, gossiping about you or your partner and you are defending yourself or your partner that is if you are hooked up and if you're not hooked up you might be um, defending your ideas ab about something um, if somebody says yes well you only broke up three months ago or um, uh, you've been um, w uh, married for so many years don't j and it's j you know just don't jump into 
the frying pan uh, uh, into the fire with, uh, from the fry, uh, frying pan. You have to take time out. Who is to say what you can do and what you should do and what you shouldn't do? Do what you want. You don't have to defend yourself. Think really clearly. Okay. Do I have to defend this or do I not have to defend this? In some cases, just walk away from it. There's people that are jealous and uh, or they are overprotective. You are grown and up. Uh, if you're older than 18 and definitely above 20, then uh, they only mean it with goodwill because they care about you. And if they are your mother or your father um, because you are younger than 20, um, then it is wise to listen to them and to take notes because they have life experience okay because I do see that I have a lot of young people that follow me so listen to your mum or your dad or a mature person that means well don't start uh, jumping up and down and, and, and fighting against them because you won't win and they won't either because the five of swords do does mean that nobody's the winner you will only aggravate the situation and you will only make the tension go bigger and bigger so listen before you speak in other words be careful what you say listen especially to a person that's loving and nurturing uh, these are two mature people and I would say that could be your mum or your dad or your grandmother or your grandfather because they have had children themselves you know and they're always there for you to fall back uh, fall back upon know that um, also there could have been a breakup like I said in the first week so you know uh, yes uh, go to mum or dad or somebody that you respect and love and ask them for their support but you're, you're, you are always the one that takes the decisions okay because you're the one that has to take the responsibility when you make a decision no ask your mature person your mum or your dad whoever you've got respect for what the consequences would be if you did something get clarity okay now if you are not hooked up then ask also your parents what can I do if you don't know or what should I do well for instance I'm a mature person and I'm a mum I would say what is it that you wish and all depending on your situation uh, whether you are in college or university okay then I would say why don't you join uh, the university students uh, force or whatever it is nowadays or join a sports club go swimming with a couple of girlfriends every week go and do some training keep fit or go dancing do something that you love with a group you've got the people in your reading you've got loads of people okay there could also if you are looking for a partner there could be an Aries around you like I said and the king of fire is a man that is logical he thinks and then takes action and he goes for what he wants there's no pussyfooting around with him <laughs> and not only that but he um, he stands for passion but passion is, doesn't last remember that it you need to know to get each other you need to learn to to get to know each other sorry especially with a fire sign because they are active they have passion and passion means boom fast love fast they love to do things very fast but you can get burned out especially if you are an earth sign with an air sign your earth you're slower 
you're steadier and you're there for the long term with durability. You would love to get married tomorrow, but that's not how it goes. You have to make it grow like the uh, Empress. She knows it takes time to grow to get to a point where you can ha harvest. That means the harvest time in a relationship means getting married and then you go on to a new beginning, the next level, by becoming a parent. Make sure you know what you want. So it could be in Aries, but don't exclude Leo or Sagittarius. Again, we've got a two, uh, two a masculine and a woman in the reading. I would say there could be a couple. Okay. And if so, if you're not hooked up, you could be coupling up. Definitely, the ground is fertile. If you are hooked up, then I think your relationship could go up to the next level. Something will become clear. You might have a tete-a-tete, -tete, right? And you won't, you won't. Yeah, okay. It could be um, um, what you call it. You could have the argument. But you're, you're mature enough. That's what I'm seeing here as well. Uh, most of you are mature enough to realize that uh, life has its up and downs. And things have to be, the air has to be cleared from time to time. And yes, sometimes you have to defend yourself. But sometimes you can walk away and avoid this situation. A major breakup or whatever. You know, remember, usually... Uh, little things become big things and it's just like the, 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 the mountain in the Lenaman and we've got the mountain so don't blow things out of proportion I was thinking of the mountain and boom it is here I hadn't even noticed that <laughs> because I use different decks sometimes I don't notice it so don't ex um, exaggerate things um, if there's no need. There's a double warning. Okay, from the Lenaman and the Tarot. So now we're going into the Tarot. I'm not using the numerology or the cartomacy. I'm just using the symbol of Lenaman and that is the anchor. Not this one or the other number. Okay, so the anchor means also steadfastness. You've put down your anchor. You want to stay there. Uh, y and you feel safe. You're coming home to a safe haven. You feel safe in this relationship. You know what you've got. The unknown is always scary. Okay? So make sure that you know what's going on between you and your partner if you're hooked up. If you're not hooked up, then it's time to talk with each other. Get clarity. Without communicating, you you know, you will create uh, problems. And then it will be bottled up and then when it comes out, it explodes. So make sure you always communicate in every situation. Um, with mum and dad, if need be, or with each other as well. If you are hooked up, you know what I'm speaking about. You're mature enough to know. But you feel safe where you are. So the um, it, the card, the anchor card, also means yes. Okay? It also means yes to a question. Will I get pregnant? Definitely you will. But it could be not at the time that you want it. It could be even in the time of Leo, because we have, or Libra, uh, because the Empress represents Libra. And we, we are in Cancer, so within the next three months, it, we have Fire, Leo, and we have Earth, Virgo, on Libra. That in yeah, um, I I, you know the half harvest is uh, 
usually brought inside or held in um, at the end of September, be beginning mid-September. So I would even include Virgo uh, with it. Well, here you are. You've got Virgo. Uh, where did you? No, you didn't have Virgo. Sorry. When I started to learn um, tarot, I thought um, the Queen, uh, the Empress, um, because she reminds me of the uh, Queen of Pentacles, was Virgo, so that she represented Virgo. That is what my feelings, always my intuition, said. So that's why I, I suppose I still bring it up. Okay. Now, there are people around you that aren't true to whom they project to be. So be careful. There is a warning here, okay? The, the, you've got the fox, and here you can see somebody's wearing a fox. Is in the skin of a fox. So uh, the the uh, cli uh, the saying goes, "Be careful! There is a uh, a wolf wearing cle sheep's clothing." That is the true saying. So be careful of somebody that's being sly, that's not being honest. Get clarity at all times. Do your groundwork. The Queen of uh, sorry, the Empress is somebody that works with the earth and represents mother earth so that's where i get the word i hear the word groundwork do your groundwork before you go into a relationship and form a partnership okay know who you're dealing with don't listen to gossip that is also what i'm saying because that is how arguments start and you have to defend yourself Make sure that both your feet are on the ground when you have to defend yourself. Okay. Well, um, I wasn't looking at the numbers, but you've got two nines. So the angels are with you. Okay. Something is coming to the end. Something is coming to an end. That means there is also a new beginning. And like I said, with the empress there is a new beginning it could be a birth of a child or it could be a birth of a relationship but it could but because she nurtures things that grow so something could be ending one phase could be ending and you're going into another phase the next step up okay now for those that are um, getting divorced or separated I'm sorry to hear that and I hope you um, you are safe hmm I don't like it I'm hearing somebody is getting divorced well th I'm reading for thousands so you know divorce is always very difficult when you and you feeling hurt and abandoned but know that there are people around you that still love you and support you they know the true you so be careful don't shy away from help there you are be careful what you say remember if you say something that is not true or that's not just and it's said out of spite or out of sadness it can also be used against you so it's better not to say anything and yeah I'm getting also feeling the Empress is not only Mother Earth but if she is a professional she is a Libra that is also scales I, I think very deeply so that's why uh, you know that's why readings are so long I can go and s sit here until the cows come home but uh, then I think legalities scales is justice in Lenaman and also scales are uh, is justice in the tarot Uh, Skelts wasn't in the Lenemon, sorry. <laughs> uh, 
I'm getting my cards mixed up but you do have the um, the page of uh, air there the page of swords so it could be officiality something it is will become clear to you perhaps you are the one that's finding out who's been sly <sighs> Um, and noticing that somebody has been sly and you are being analytical and perfect letting the truth come out okay but you're keeping quiet you're only telling it to your lawyer or your advocate somebody that is acting upon your behalf if you're getting divorced be wise use your wisdom bite your tongue if you can and need to let the officiality do the work for you then we have the tower now the tower in Lenamon means ambition don't forget the people um, around you so yes when we start a new relationship uh, newness okay when we start a new relationship perhaps with an air sign we hear of people that could be interested in 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 you capricorn okay you are ambitious to start up a new relationship perhaps and if you are in a relationship you're going you're ambitious to make your relationship be fulfilled and grow like being the mother perhaps you do want to get pregnant and perhaps this is the argument that you might have with your partner and you're defending it yes but uh, it's great to have children uh, it's I would love to have a child um, it has got its pros and cons everything and sometimes you know we get pregnant without noticing or wishing for it and that could be also an issue I'm trying to think of all the scenarios as I'm reading for so many different people and situations if you find out you are pregnant and it's not the right time because you are ambitious and you want to carry on in your career ooh, go and talk to somebody go and talk to somebody that could give you the uh, right advice don't just cut it away if it is your partner that doesn't agree with it and you would love to ha have a baby I'm sure there is an alternative but don't forget the people around you that is ambition because when you reach the top it is very lonely so make sure that you make time for the people that you love especially your partner if you have one and here we've got the mountain like I said don't make mountains out of molehills don't make an elephant out of a fly be realistic be down to earth take action and be logic but take action to solve the problems or issues at hand okay now the um, Romance card says stay optimistic about your love life Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance That is if you haven't got romance and if you are in a relationship that is too earthy Then think Make it exciting that is being creative being passionate be creative about your passion so stay optimistic about your love life there will be somebody perhaps not now because you've got a definite no but we did get a time in this reading of approximately three to four months perhaps you, you will meet somebody on your travels or on a boat
um, and we've got yeah I also think of summer harvesting like I said we've got the air signs June July uh, July we haven't got water but let me have, have a look hang on this is Libra and um, we've just come out of Gemini so Libra Gemini that is June um, September um, this is Libra she I the Empress is Libra and we've got the King of Rods which is Aries but also a Le could be a Leo that is August so we do have time so that is from June to Libra so end of September October so in that time range you might find somebody or meet somebody new okay and perhaps it is better not, not to be so swift like I said um, passion doesn't last you want to make sure that it grows and blossoms and take it up to the next level all time surrender to the non-action now is the time to be still and not active simply breathe and focus on your own power yes you must stand your ground feel strong be earthed and then you can be the nurturing loving sensual type because then you're strong like the Empress let others come to you precisely so work on yourself love yourself be the beacon and let them come to you you're the one that should be the beacon and attract be sensual sexy woo, or handsome safety yes um, what I'm also getting to hear you are at a safe haven but don't lock yourself away that is what I'm getting to hear and she's got the unicorn uh, uh, hairdress on here I love this and you've got the no definitely not no n now so be open be gentle go f you are ambitious but take your time you don't have to climb the mountain you can walk the path on the mountain so take your time you will get to where you want to go you will get what you want there is a new beginning definitely for you okay but like with the Empress it takes time to grow so that is the time of essence give it a couple of months enjoy the summer and the freedom that we have now after the lockdown so I hope you have enjoyed this reading Capricorn and I hope to see you next month and of course in the weeklies so I uh, go live uh, on Monday Wednesday and Friday so if you enjoy free cards um, then please come into the life and join in it's not only about cards last week uh, Friday we had a discussion evening and uh, what has come out is that people really would like to uh, have discussion evenings it was lovely and it, it it brings us closer together the reader me and my cyber angels I love it and I love you all and I do look forward to the lives every week so if you would like to join in come in on Monday Wednesday and Friday and I put out notifications um, as well on Facebook or Instagram when I go live on how late I go live so take care and stay safe and be blessed and have loads of fun this month